Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are continuing with more One Piece episodes 397, 98 and 99. <laughs> Sabaudi Archipelago is going crazy, there is so many things happening, not only that we got introduction to all of these supernova Luffy's rivals, right? We met the world nobles, the most despicable creatures created in any fiction, celestial fucking dragons, and uh, we see how the fishmen and uh, mermaids are being treated. It's basically racism. We have uh, s slavery and selling people to these fucking celestial dragons who are treating people like a ride, man. Or as we saw that uh, fucking guy who got punched by Luffy, man, uh, Charles, who is, I guess, getting uh, female slaves for his own like nasty desires. He has thirteen wives. They are just so fucking frustrating to follow while they're on the screen, man. I don't know. I I fucking hate them. Like Oda is doing fantastic job with villains. That's something that that has been consistent throughout the series, man. He always manages to make me so freaking upset with the villains. And early on, you know, like with Arlong and Vapol and whatnot, uh, Crocodile was also uh, Crocodile was Crocodile was a bit chiller, right? He had his own goals, but he was still a douchebag. But then. Uh, similar to Enel, Enel was pretty brutal, and fucking Spandam, and now Celestial Dragons, give me a fucking break, man. but it's so good, <laughs> the punch, the best punch in history, bro, oh my god, I can't describe how happy I am for that, man, but what now, we did something that we shouldn't do right something that hachi was trying to prevent us from doing so badly even risking uh showing himself right as a fisherman and he was being ridiculed and people started throwing shit at him because only because he's a fisherman and when that guy shot him man and Hachi still tries to stop Luffy, even though he, he has been shot and bleeding, man. What a guy. I felt so freaking bad. And that that's why that punch was even more satisfying. Because of uh, Kami, because of Hachi, and because in general how fucking disgusting they are. <laughs> Hachi already stopped Luffy once by covering his mouth when they saw... Uh, the guy with the exploding collar, right? And uh, Kami has that around her neck as well. But this time around, Luffy has had enough, man. But right now, I'm worried for consequences because supposedly it's going to be Admiral with his fleet reacting if we uh, disrespect or attack Celestial Dragon. So we will see how will that play out. Uh, other <laughs> uh, supernova pirates won't be happy for sure. That's for sure, man. And I think some of them were present, if I remember, in Auction House as well. The kid and the guy with the drip. Love, love guy. So that's pretty interesting. They won't be happy if uh, such a navy powerhouse comes, right? To Sabaody, but yeah. Uh, the silver lining, the light in this situation is definitely Arelic Silvers, the right hand of King of the Pirates. What a guy, man. He has really cool character design and he has incredible power, that's for sure, because he used that haki that they mentioned. Uh, earlier on that Shanks also used on Wildbeard's ship, so I have no doubt that he is powerful as hell and that he is going to help us. It's clear that he is the craftsman that uh, his wife Shaki was talking about, so I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into episode 397. Let's begin. So 
so hype, man. So much hype. As I said, I really rock with these characters, with these rivals, but especially these two that were fighting alongside Luffy, man. And especially this guy, Lo, with the big ass dope sword, with an insane devil fruit ability. He can create like this circle, like room, and he is able to just swing his sword. He doesn't need to cut them. I think that as long as they stay inside of that circle, that he just needs to swing and their body parts will be cut off. But at the same time, they are still alive and they can feel the rest of their body, but they are powerless to do anything. And uh, other guy, it looks like at first I thought he has like repel and all of that shit that he can attract and then uh, shoot away the thi things, uh, humans as well and stuff, right? Just like pain from Naruto. But it looks like it's a magnetism and it makes sense. He bl uh, stopped the cannonball and then shot it back at them. And later on Zoro's sword started going all the metal objects, swords, guns, cannons. And he created a giant metal arm, uh, just like Luffy when he used uh third gear man and they attacked at the same time so dope and i like when luffy said that he wants to claim the one piece man nobody was laughing right and uh both love and kid got serious uh, love didn't say anything but kid said something interesting when we were proclaiming that we want to get one piece everyone was laughing and when they left we slaughtered them and we know that he's killing civilians but I was still pretty hype about that guy, but yeah, he's doing some nasty shit, man. And I like how he said that he will meet and face Luffy in the new world. And all that came crashing down as soon as I saw Bartolomeu Kuva standing in front of him. But maybe with Lo, together of them, maybe they can take him down, man. Maybe there is a small little chance, a small little maybe. And what can I tell about the Silver Zerelig guy, uh, uh, King of the Pirates' right hand, using that insane like aura, like intense aura, and knocking people out. And he was saying that only strong can withstand that. So props to our crew then in that case because everyone is able to stay conscious. I thought that it was selective, that he can choose which people that will affect, but that, that would be a whole new level of broken. I'm kinda glad that that's not the fact. And he removed uh, the color from Kami by using uh, the same ability, I think, in some way. So, fucking amazing presentation when it comes to his character and he also wanted to meet Luffy and he mentioned the head and he probably knows about the head because of Shanks they were on the same crew it would make sense so I would like for them to have a proper conversation hopefully if we uh, get out of this situation so it looks like Luffy and the others did not run into Kuma, right? So maybe they will escape. But knowing that Admiral as well, we saw Kizaru, the new Admiral, heading there. I don't know what to expect from him, but as I said during the episodes, knowing how Kiji, bro, if Kuma is there and if Admiral is there, situation can be so fucking hard to get out of, but yeah, we have this old man, but he said that he wants to live in peace and quiet. I don't even know. It's so many things are happening. We saw the other uh, rivals, the other supernovas, right? Uh, getting away from the island. That's smart. I mean, Love and Kid had no choice. They were trapped in Auction House with us. But yeah, everyone... Uh, the Al Capone dude said that he wants to coach ship and go to Fishman Island. They're all heading to New World. It's going to be so fucking cool, man. And unexpected thing was Disco talking to fucking Don Quixote Warlord, Dolphamingo. He was saying that 
he owns that shop, but he doesn't give a shit. He mentioned, he mentioned smiles. What is that? That has to be some sort of code for something, right? And he was saying that new era is about to happen and that they themselves, warlord, warlords, are on active duty right now. Because Navy, with admirals and all of their power, I totally forgot that they have warlords on their side and they're all going to face Whitebeard and his crew. Nah, bro, that is going to be so fucking insane. And Luffy did not learn the news about Ace still. Once he does, our crew is getting involved there as well. Oh my god, just thinking about the future of One Piece and looking forward to those episodes is making me shaking with excitement, literally, man. I simply can't, can't wait. So Hachi is definitely on good terms with this Rayleigh guy and he likes him and he's intrigued by Luffy as well, just like his wife, Shaki from the bar. They like Luffy, so I can't wait to learn more about them. It was amazing, absolutely amazing, bro. Seeing uh, Luffy fighting alongside two of his rivals, one with the bounty of 315, and Lo has 200 mil, but considering his power man, maybe he just didn't do some wild shit, right? Maybe he was trying to stay low key, but he's definitely on pair with them. His ability is kinda crazy, man. Yeah, they like his crew, man. I mean, uh, the bear. <laughs> Beppo, he can use like martial arts and stuff, and I like how he recruited that. So, uh, what about that little detail, right? Uh, I was commentating how we have that giant outside just chilling and it was for this purpose, for Truffle Girl, Tr Truffle Girl Low to recruit him to his crew. And the guy is like, sure, anything is better than being uh, the slave of Celestial Dragon, which is a fact. And he was a pirate captain himself, so uh, I like that they showed us uh, Low recruiting uh, and freeing guy from slavery, that is pretty dope. Uh, I really rock with Low. He seems like a nice dude. Uh, his character is badass and he has Levi's voice actor, man. And on top of that, he's using a uh, sword and he has that crazy devil fruit ability, man. <laughs> I just can't resist, man. I lo love those types of characters, bro. I'm already drawn to him, <laughs> naturally. <laughs> But I also like how fucking unhinged and chaotic Kid seems to be, man, and his crew as well. Killer going crazy with spinning those blades and the other guy shooting fire. Next episodes are about to be wild as well. Sabaudi continues to be this incredible arc. They're facing Kuma. Luffy seems to be in the clear thanks to Duval and the others. Shout out to them. They came true again, it was nice seeing Papa uh, Kachi and Kami reunite and Luffy saying that they are his friends, it made me tear up a little bit, Luffy just doing Luffy things, being phenomenal character, but yeah, next episodes we are going to continue this duel against Kuma and our Admiral is probably going to arrive, so I will end the video here for today. Amazing stuff as always, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see a few episodes early. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya, guys.